okay so in the first session of the video that was just like a cold start and you could hear how uh, much more aggressive the new exhaust is over the original and in the second one as I was driving by you could hear the exhaust at the end a, li a little bit and then the third you couldn't hear it at all because someone made an illegal turn and I actually had to slow down which is going to cut the uh, exhaust down and also this isn't fully an aggressive exhaust this is just an axle back exhaust so it's going to give a little bit of gain and a little bit more of that raspiness and growl that you're looking for but it's not overall going to be very aggressive if you're looking for a much more aggressive approach i would think of either doing a cat delete or a resonator delete a resonator delete will definitely if you just put a straight pipe in there is going to give you a little bit more sound without throwing any uh epa regulations if you got to stay within that and i personally this is like i said of the photo is the representation of the exhaust you get overall i'm happy with it but i probably will be adding to the exhaust in the future and trying to get that sound up just a little bit more but anyways i hope this really helped for all of you that were asking about it and what it sounded like and everything uh, I hope you're not too disappointed. Like I said, it's a great exhaust and it's a great way to start. Um, there's not a lot of options if you're a 9th gen R18. There are much more if you're 8th gen R18. And uh, there's plenty of websites to go uh, look through. Um, one in particular is fkxracing.com. I'll leave a description. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. And uh, they have several exhausts, and they specifically sell to our, our brand of cars. But anyways, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and consider sharing if you know it'll help anyone else. And see everyone in the next video. Take care.